This is The Crown and the Flame, Book 1, Chapter 5. With Kenna and Gabriel being held captive, they'll need to fight for their freedom. Meanwhile, Dominic sneaks into Stormholt Dungeon. Chapter 5, The Challenge. Now playing as Kenna. You now stand in the center of the camp filled with mercenaries and former Stormholt soldiers. In front of you is Leon, the former guard captain of Stormholt, and Severin, the leader of the mercenaries. Everyone, take a good look. For the first time, we've got royalty in our camp. Too bad it's just till we turn her in for Prince Marco's reward. It's true. I'm Queen Kenna Rise of Stormholt, and I intend to take back the Five Kingdoms. The people in the crowd all start murmuring. Your legend grows. Your army's strength is epic. Stormholt soldier, you're the one people are talking about. The lost queen who's gathering an army. It's really her. The legend's true. I say we let them be on their way. We don't need to turn her over to Marco. Ha! We've got the queen here, and you're just going to let her walk away? The bounty Prince Marco put on her, her head is 3,000 gold coins. But there are 2,000 soldiers, so it's only like one and a half coins each. The mercenaries cheer. We'll eat for months off of that. Turn her over and Marco will have her head. So, who's she to us? The mercenaries begin to jeer. There's another way. You could join me, all of you. We'll retake this land and restore our kingdom to gl glory. Glory? You mean your glory. You want to be some queen in a castle, sitting on a throne of pillows while real men like me do the dirty work. A real leader fights his own fights. Everyone else is just a weakling, waiting till someone stronger crushes them. Your mother learned that the hard way, didn't she? Severin. He did say the strong people fight, so he'll bleed for that. You punch Severin squarely in the jaw. He takes a step back. She's fast. Severin glares at you, then laughs. Ooh, so the little girl has a temper. That almost, that almost tickled. My mother was a great woman. And now she's a dead one. That's how things go. We live in the real world out here, and in the real world, there's a mighty price on your pretty head. Severin, I can't let you hand her over. Don't be a fool. You can't seriously want to join her cause. I don't, but we can release her and Gabriel. There's no reason to have their blood on our hands. I can think of about 3,000 reasons. Who's with me? I am. Hey. The mercenaries cheer. Some of the former so Stormholt soldiers join in, but others look conflicted. Besides, it's my call. The strong lead, the weak bleed, and I'm the strongest one here. Get over here, Queen Kenna. You're coming with me. Severin reaches for you, but Gabriel steps in. I challenge you, Severin. Whoa. Huh? As you said, strength leads among your people. If you're the strongest one here, prove it. Fight me. What? No, I should be fighting them, actually. Now playing as Dominic. In the kitchens, you find Rose baking bread for the night's dinner. Have you learned anything about her friend in the dungeon? Oh, Dominic, it's so sad. He's bleeding from a dozen wounds and can barely move his arm. They must have broken it. He needs real food to recover, but they only let me bring him scraps. They don't care if he recovers. 
You heard Marco in the courtyard. They mean to kill him. It's only a question of when. The guards told me I'd be bringing him food until the end of the week. Then we'll have to act before then. With any luck, I'll save our friend before he's tortured into giving up any information about Kenna. The princess. You were in love with her, weren't you? Me and Kenna? In love? Uh... You could be, but I feel like it's not actually a good match. Mm. So I'm just going to say... I was, but that was a long time ago, or we were just friends. Yeah, let's just say we were just friends. Really? We were close as children, but that's it. Okay. I just thought, the way you care so much about her. She's the rightful queen. I want to see her back on the throne. As do I. How can I help? You've done enough. Leave the rest to me. Pardon me? We're in this together. It's one thing for me to risk my own life, but I don't want to see you in danger. Every day we live here, we're in danger. Last week, Marco had his servants flogged to death for spilling wine on his tunic. Fair enough. But Rose, you've always been cautious. I couldn't live with myself if you got in trouble because of me. Oh, well... Rose blushes. Ooh. Being near you makes me brave. Rose, I'd follow you anywhere, Dominic. So, what's your plan? If you're bringing the prisoner his food, then we can use that. Maybe, to get, maybe today I can go with you? It's a plan, then. Now playing as Kenna, you and Gabriel have been placed in Leon's tent and put under guard while the mercenaries gather for their duel. At least they have the decency to return my sword to me. Gabriel twist, twirls his sword and practices his strike while you watch, frowning. It was a cunning move. I wasn't entirely sure it would work. It worked on Severn because... You challenged him publicly, I guess? Challenging Severin in front of his people meant he couldn't back down without looking weak. And he holds on to his power here because of his strength. The moment he looks weak, the other mercenaries would turn on him. Precisely. Gabriel practices a lunge. But Gabriel, I wish you weren't doing this. Funny, I thought I was supposed to be your bodyguard. Just because you've spent your life worrying about me doesn't mean I can't worry about you, too. My queen, this duel is the only answer to our predicament. I'm just not sure this is a good idea. There's still enough fight in me to defend you. I know you would die to protect me, Gabriel. It's the dying part that I'd rather avoid. You've been like a father. For as long as I can remember, you've always been there for me. And it was my pleasure, always. You've grown up so quickly. Do you remember when you were just a girl? The ball your mother held in your honor? When I found you in tears? Is this really the time to dredge up that embarrassing memory? You learned a valuable lesson that day. Or do you not remember? Uh, I want to see this. Want to see what Kenna was like as a little girl? This is your chance. Unlocking memories will give you exclusive scenes. And it probably costs diamonds. You'll get the chance to earn more prestige points and increase your army score for the final battle. Remember to keep building your army score for the final battle. Even one point can make a huge difference. The 
ball when I was li a little girl, and I don't have enough diamonds. There's no time for that. Sentimentality will have to wait. We must come up with another plan. We have a plan. I will fight for you, as I always, as I have always done. Please, don't go through with this. There must be another way. I wish you were right, but these men will only respect a sh sh show of strength. The strong lead, the weak bleed. You're right, the strong lead. Now playing as Dominic. You, Rose, and Tristan are preparing a meal to bring down to the captive monk. I'll take the food down to him. Not alone, you won't. I'll come with you. Me too. We'll all need something to carry. Lucky for you two, I also bring the guards to their dinner, so there's plenty to go around. Here, Tristan, take this pitcher of water. Dom, take these plates. Carrying the knight's meal, the three of you head to the dungeon. About time we got our food, wench. Here you go, sir. And may I fill your glass? As Rose talks to the guards, you and Tristan set down the plates quietly and slip into the shadows. And for dinner, I've made you the finest roasted quail. While the guards eat their food, you sneak down the stairs to find the monk's cell. You approach one of the cells in the back. Sir, are you in there? Yes, yes. Jeez. They really did a number on him. The monk slowly pulls himself over to the bars. Here, take this food. What news have you, my friend? Did my hawk reach you in time? You're the one who sent the warning? Then you did get it in time. Yes, the queen lives, or at least she was alive when I last saw her. She fled with her guard. Gabriel, so the old man is still kicking. He remains a dedicated protector to Kenna. I haven't seen Kenna in two years. Tell me. Hmm. Is she safe? She has grown into a fearsome warrior. That much I can say for certain. She is well equipped to protect herself. There's no time for this, Dom. You're right. We've got to get you out of here. My execution has been ordered for tomorrow. Prince Marco will have my head before sunset. Tomorrow? But I heard that it would be at the end of the week. Apparently, any information I have is no longer needed. They've stopped questioning me. What? I believe this means Prince Marco has uncovered something about where Queen Kenna is now. I wish I knew more. This isn't good. We've got to figure out what Marco knows. But first, we're breaking you out of here. I'm not letting them kill you. Don't concern yourselves with me. I've accepted my fate. Well, we haven't. We'll be back soon. Be prepared to flee. You lean forward to clasp the monk's hand, and he stares at the flame-shaped marking on your chest. That brand. I didn't know you were from the mount mountain tribes. If I am, no one bothered to tell me. Then you have no idea what that mark means? I should say something to do with fire. Something, some strange things have been happening to me. The monk stares into your eyes. Have you felt it? The fire? How did you... Just then, you hear the clanking sound of the gate opening. Vertel and Helene are coming. If they spot us, they'll recognize us and know we're up to something. Then we'll just have to make sure they don't see us. You hide in the cell next to the monks, pulling Tristan in with you. I don't see why we can't do it now. I brought my new set of pokers and everything. Prince Marco wants a public execution. You can't round up all the rabble in a couple of hours. Notices have been sent. You hear the sound of footsteps stop. Should we go now? I should wait. No, we wait. 
They're not at the cell yet, or we would have heard them talking to the monk. We wait for a moment. The sound of footsteps resumes. Here he is. Indeed, there's our prisoner. Are you satisfied, Helene? You can't be too careful. I have never fully trusted the castle staff. I believe some may still be loyal to the full queen. Yeah, I guess we could have killed them all. If you want to make your own food and empty your own chamber pot. On your feet, prisoner. Tristan looks at you, unsure. Now? Now. You and Tristan sneak past the cell where Helene and Bartel are speaking to the monk. You should have saved yourself when you had the chance. Now Prince Marco has no need of you. I would never betray my queen. Insolent wretch. Bartel kicks him. The monk lets out a groan, and you feel anger growing inside you. Up ahead, you see Rose waiting by the gate, gesturing quickly for you to come. How do you react? Focus your power. You take a deep breath and focus the fire burning within you. Looking down at your hands, you see flames fr flickering across your fingers. You clench your fists, and you feel the fire sinking deep in your veins. What is happening to me? You shake off the strange sensation and continue away from the cell. The sounds of Bartel beating the monk echo down the hall. Sudden suddenly, Tristan nudges you sharply. He's shocked. Tristan places a finger over his lips and points behind you, at a guard standing just a few feet from you. Oh gods, I've got to find a way past that guard. I should sneak past the guard. You step behind the guard, making as little noise as possible. Hate this creepy dungeon. Amen. You get past the guard successfully and motion for Tristan to follow your lead. Just as Tristan is about to step forward, the guard turns and spots Tristan standing behind him. Who are you? And what are you doing in the dungeons? I, uh, that is to say... I should... Uh, let... Uh... You motion to Tristan to say something, anything. Tristan looks at you briefly, then back at the guard. I'm a... Oh my god. I'm a merchant? A merchant? Yes, I'm here to sell my wares to the soldiers of Stormholt. Oh, of course. He bought it? Okay, and I'm a Drachmere dragon. Oh, shoot. With one clean slash, Tristan's head is unceremoniously separated from his neck. Shoot. Tristan, no! The guard whirls around to face you. Let me guess, you're also a merchant? The guard grabs you by the throat. He squeezes until you feel your windpipe collapse, then he tosses you to the floor. You have died. Whoops. What do you do? Restart from checkpoint. And try not to die this time. Step behind the guard, making as little noise as possible. Hate this creepy dungeon. Get past the guard successfully and motion for Tristan to follow your lead. Guard, the guard turns and spots him. Who are you? What are you doing in the dungeon? I, uh, that is to say, you do something about it because Tristan is a terrible liar. Before Tristan can get a word in edgewise, you snatch the guard's sword from its sheath. The guard immediately spins around. What in the... I should stab the guard. With one quick thrust, you jam the guard's own sword through the eye slot in his helmet. The blade hits the metal of the back of the helmet with a thunk. The guard crumples to the floor, dead. You look up at Tristan, who is staring at you with eyes wide with fear. You... you killed him, Dominic, what have you done? What was I supposed to do, stand there and watch him kill you first? You're... you're right. Let's just keep moving. 
You and Tristan drag the soldier's corpse into an alcove and flee the hallway. Rose stares at you for a moment, mouth agape. I wonder what would have happened if we tried to negotiate with him. Dom. Let's go. The three of you flee up the stairs and rush back to your bedroom. Now playing as Kenna. You're pacing in Leon's tent while Gabriel sharpens his sword. Severin enters. Gabriel, we must talk man to man. Now. Gabriel whispers to you. More like man to beast. Killing you will be easy. You are so old and I am so big. Sizes and everything? So I'm here to offer a deal. You join us and work for me. And what happens to me? What do you think? We turn you over to the prince and live like kings. It, the money really isn't going to last that long, I think. In case it wasn't clear before, I stand beside Kenna. Forget about the wench. Without her kingdom, she's nothing. She will be my queen until my death. A death that's happening tonight. If you won't save your skin, then I'll enjoy taking it. You're soft, old man. You don't remember what it's like to be in a real fight. We shall see about that. Gabriel rises to his feet, but Severin darts close to him, planting the f his foot behind Gabriel and knocking him down. The sword falls out of Gabriel's hand. Kenna really should be the one fighting Severin. Ugh. I should. Yeah, let's pull his sword on Severin. You ga grab Gabriel's sword and point it at Severin. Back away from him. Severin laughs. Good instincts for a royal. Before you can react, he pulls the dagger out of his sleeve and throws it, cutting your hand and causing you to drop the sword. Don't point a sword at me, little girl, not unless you're planning to stick it in me. And you're welcome, for showing you a taste of what's to come. Maybe you'll take my offer now, old man? Never. I hope the little girl is ready to see her head rolling by her feet. I'll make sure she gets a good view. That won't happen. And how will you stop it? By letting someone else die for you? You rulers are all the same. That's why my men and I that's why my men and I bow to no one. Can I pay him no mind? He can't possibly understand the weight of ruling a kingdom. No, Gabriel, he's right. I am? Yes, you are. I can't sit safely by while others fight for me. If I'm going to rule, it won't be because someone ha else it won't be because someone handed me a crown. I'll... I'll... I'll earn it. If I'm going to rule, it will be because I've earned my place on the throne, through blood and steel. So you see, I won't be like other rulers. I can't be like other rulers. If I'm going to be the queen that people fight for, I must prove that I'm strong enough to de deserve their loyalty. And that starts now. What are you saying? I will fight Severin myself. Good for you, Kenna. Chapter Progress You chose to forgo sentimentality and not reminisce about your childhood with Gabriel. Not that I had a choice. Overall Progress No change. Prestige, 20 out of 32. Power, 12 out of 12. Weapons, 5 out of 10. Allies, 10 out of 15. Troops, 3 out of 5. Significant choices, 20 out of 45. Army score, 70 out of 119. That's the end of this chapter.